Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. I've made several videos trying to teach potholers some basic physics, and I'm going to try again. For those of you who are not familiar with Potholer, he's a former BBC presenter turned climate propagandist. Potholer's view of science is fundamentally different from mine. He views science as being consensus and academics citing each other's papers. I grew up in a totally different world in Los Alamos. I grew up in the physics world of Feynman, Beta, Rhinus, and Dyson. These people talked about numbers, equations, and ideas, not consensus and peer review. Richard Feynman said, what do you care what other people think? He also said, you cannot prove a vague theory wrong. Let's go back to Potholer's fundamental thesis. The blue line is temperature variation in Antarctic ice cores over the last 450,000 years. The graph shows ice age cycles followed by warm cycles. Potholer's theory is that you're sitting here in a very warm period, and then you get a very small nudge from changes in planetary orbit. Temperatures start to cool, then you start getting carbon dioxide feedback kicking in. He believes that the carbon dioxide feedback causes it to get even colder, which causes more carbon dioxide feedback, and it keeps accelerating downwards until, as he describes it, it crashes into the ground. And then after it's crashed into the ground, sometime later the planets give it a nudge in the other direction and the feedback goes the other way and we come rapidly out of the ice age cycle. He used this set of diagrams to illustrate his concept of what's happening. You have this teeter-totter which is at equilibrium and then somebody gives this roller a little bit of nudge that direction. That causes the teeter-totter to tip to the right, accelerate, and come crashing into the ground. Potholer is violating several basic concepts of physics with this theory. If the feedbacks caused acceleration, as he's showing here, the system would be unstable. It's very fundamental physics that in a stable system, the feedbacks have to be smaller than the original signal. Otherwise, each feedback cycle would be greater than the previous cycle, and there would be no way to stop it. If Potholer's theory were correct, the climate of Earth would either turn into Pluto or Venus. Potholer avoided this problem by creating a second violation of physics. He had the teeter-totter crash into the ground, but he never defined what the ground was. There is no ground for Earth's climate to crash into. The only mechanisms which Potholer defined were tiny changes in Earth's orbit and resultant feedbacks. He didn't define any other forces in the system. But in order for the teeter-totter to crash into the ground and suddenly stop, there has to be an extremely strong force, which Potholer has not defined. The relevant physics equation is that work equals force times distance. A crash implies doing a lot of work over a very small distance. If you're doing a lot of work over a very small distance, you have to have a very strong force. So in order for his teeter-totter to crash, he has to have a very strong upwards force, and he made no attempt to explain what that force is. And the reason he didn't attempt to explain that is because there's no explanation for it as part of his theory. The bottom line is that there's no way to stop an accelerating feedback, at least until you get down close to absolute zero temperature. Potholer just skipped right past the middle part of the explanation, which was the most important part. One of my favorite movies is A Fish Called Wanda, and one of my favorite lines from that movie was when Otto said, what was the middle part again? So I'm going to ask Potholer one more time, what was the middle part? I don't want him to cite other people's papers, I want him to show me some numbers and some theory. I want him to behave like an actual scientist like Richard Feynman, not a fake scientist like Michael Mann. A much better mathematical model for ice age cycles would be the pendulum in a clock. A pendulum accelerates towards the center, slows down towards the edges, and then reverses. It keeps going back and forth, just like Earth's ice age cycles. Talking science with potholders like playing chess with a pigeon. He knocks all the pieces down and then struts. I don't expect a sensible response out of him. I just expect more strutting. But it's kind of fun to watch his antics. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science and propaganda for a long time.